Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Now this video won't be like the others. What we're gonna do is take a look at the future of Luke Skywalker in The Mandalorian Season 3 and other legacy characters in upcoming series and films. This all rides on the back of the YouTuber Shamook being hired by ILM. We're going to discuss what that means for the characters we could get down the road. There's a lot of potential here. But before we do kick that off, remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new for regular Star Wars content. That is always right around the corner, right here on Dank Ferrick. Or if you enjoy the content, just drop a like. It helps out more than you know. But without further ado, let's kick back and dive into this. All right, so I'm pretty sure we all remember the finale of The Mandalorian Season 2. Luke Skywalker, a DH Mark Hamill version, swept in to save the day from a platoon of invincible dark troopers. And well, as amazing as that version of Luke was, and with all the hard work ILM put into it, there was a better version that eventually came out, but it wasn't official. It's one that I think a lot of us have seen by now. So a YouTuber known as Shamook used quality deepfake tech to totally recreate Mark Hamill using his actual face from Return of the Jedi to do so, and it really improved the already amazing scene. So jump ahead to summer 2021, and Lucasfilm officially hires Shamook to join the team at Industrial Light and Magic, and it comes at a rather curious time. So many Star Wars shows set in a familiar time where legacy characters are running around are on the way. So what could this mean? Now do remember that we don't have confirmation on this next bit, but I believe this only solidifies a future with more Luke Skywalker. If you didn't see it, there was a recent Comic Con at Home poster put out, and it had Luke aiding Grogu in building a new yellow lightsaber. It was official, it was licensed, that's a hint, but I think this deepfake thing also could mean more than just Luke. So sadly, the amazing Harrison Ford, he's, he's getting up there, he's older now, he's still an amazing actor, but if Han were to pop up at all even for 15 seconds in any of these series Harrison just couldn't pull it off in the time frame that this is set in the decade-ish post Return of the Jedi he's just too old and that's where the deep fake can really kick in and bring these characters to us where there wasn't a chance for it before you see it brings Han in as we knew him then to life now while giving Harrison a chance to just vocally reprise the role which I think he'd be much more down for I don't think it's a secret that he's totally over dressing up and running around Star Wars sets. He has been for a while. So this opens up a nice middle ground for Harrison and for us to see Han in one project or another. Fingers crossed, we'll see though. Then we also have others. Tarkin, Lando, Leia, you name it. In fact, you tell me, who would you guys actually like to see come back with deep fake tech? Be it a mainline character from the OT, or one of the awesome little side characters? I'm sure you guys got something you would prefer. Tell me about it. Either way, deep fake technology is on the rise, but we haven't seen it used wisely in Hollywood or TV, not just yet. But that is about to change with Star Wars, and characters we never thought could come back will be coming back. But now it's really just a matter of time to see who will be created with Deepfake in our favorite galaxy that is so far, far away, and I couldn't be more excited. Now that's going to close this one up, but what do you guys make of the Deepfake tech and what it can bring to the future of Star Wars stories and bringing old characters back to the forefront? Or were you totally fine with the CG versions as seen in Rogue One and The Mandalorian Season 2? Let me know, I'm pretty interested to see what you guys all think, but until next time, take care, stay safe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.